Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and today we're going to be outlining the mouse pick action in the input subsection of Playmaker's action list. Now I've gone ahead and I've created a scene that we're going to be using for the purposes of this demo, and I've also created an empty game object with a mouse pick action added in. As you can also see, I've got a whole bunch of variables set in, and these are all exposed in the inspector so that we can see them work. Okay, let's. Now the first thing you're going to see is the ray distance. It basically means that this particular action works with a ray cast which is built in. What it'll essentially do is it'll cast a ray into the scene and it will intersect with where the mouse cursor well, intersects. So for example, say if I'm over this sphere, it's going to cast a ray into the scene, it will hit that sphere, and it will return the information. Now if you want to make it so that your scene is really, really far away, such as like this, you may have to increase the ray distance. Or if you'd like to, say for example, use boxes and spheres and have them parented into your main camera as a form of a graphical user interface, you can use that ray distance to set it really small and you'll be able to only pick those things so you'll be able to ignore everything else in the scene. Alright, so now that I've got these all set up, Let's get going. Now I've set it to every frame. And it basically means that it's going to be running every single frame. So as we put the mouse in, if you'll notice, the store did pick object is true because that means that I'm currently over an object. But if I go over a negative space, it will go false. That's because in the negative space, there is nothing there to pick. And if you also notice, the distance is infinity. That's because in this game world, this space does go on to infinity, technically. Now, in game object, you will see the object that it is over, the sphere, cube one, cube two. I should probably name those. One moment. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've changed that up just to make it a little bit easier to see as it runs. So as you can see, it's on the floor, now it's on the sphere, now it's on the cube. Okay, now the next part is the point. Now this is a vector3 variable that will store the coordinates of where the mouse picked in the game world. The next one will be the normal. Now the normal is a gaming term that defines basically what direction the normal, which is perpendicular to the surface. So for example, say this particular cube on the top, then see that, actually let's use this. So this one here, this spot here, the normal would be going directly up. And that would be in the Y space, as you can see here. But if you go on here, it will give you a whole bunch of different coordinates. Now you can use this, for example, as to calculating, for example, you can extract the normal information if you wanted to calculate ricochets or bouncing objects if you don't want to rely on the physics materials. The next one is the distance. Now this is, as, this is going to calculate how far into the scene you are casting before you hit an object. Okay. And now the next thing that you're going to see is the layer mask. Now this is a way that you can filter through for example, if you want to only pick objects that have a particular layer, such as if they're transparent, ignore raycast, or if you want to create your own layers in here, you do have that option. So let's give this layer and give it an ignore raycast. Now, ignore raycast is automatically shipped in Unity, but Playmaker does still need to know that you want to use the ignore raycast. So let's tell it to mask to one layer, Let's put the ignore raycast in there. Now, what this, is, how this is set up with the invert mask checked means that it's going to allow you to pick anything except what's in this layer. But if you want it to only pick the sphere, let's click it like there. So I'll show you right now. As you can see, it isn't ref giving me any data in the inspector. But now that I'm on the sphere, which is in the layer that I have told it to only include, 
it is now extracting data. Let's click on the invert mask and you'll get pretty much the opposite reaction. You'll be able to ch highlight anything except for the sphere. Now you would use this in, for example, if you need to get any information such as extracting where you've clicked or where your mouse cursor is in the real world game space. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them on the video below. And if you like this video, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good one.